So today on the Poncho Review Channel, we've got the Helicon Tex Poncho. Helicon Tex is a Polish based company and this particular poncho is their US surplus line. Now, before we get going here, of course we got the tried and true US military surplus poncho right next to it. But what I find disturbing before I even get going on this review is how small this bag is. I mean, that's tiny. Get a little bit better of an angle here so I can show you. The Helicon text, that's how big it is. It's tiny compared to the, U the USGI poncho just seems to be more material. But hey, it is what it is. Let's get some close-ups here. Here's the uh, stuff sack and what's on it. Unfortunately, crafted in China. Okay, has this uh, tag here. There we go. On the back side. So we have a scale set up here to pounds. I want to weigh the Helcon Tex. It says it's 1.1 pounds. It does feel very light, so let's see what it says. One pound and one and an eighth of an ounce. Okay. For comparison, we're going to weigh the USGI poncho. And the USGI, well, if I can get it to stop moving, the USGI is weighing in at one pound five and one eighth of an ounce. So let's redo that in metric. In metric, the Helicon it weighs 484 grams. USGI weighs, man, let's roll, 597 grams. So the Helicon is definitely lighter than the USGI. Let's do some specs. 210 by 145 centimeters, 1.1 pounds. That's pretty much it. Current price on Amazon is $31.90. So let's, uh, let's get it out of the bag here. Let's take a look at it. And we'll do what we do. Okay. I still don't like stuff sacks, not for these. It is shiny, just like the Miltech, just like the Angolan. It's got that shine to it. Okay, let's look at the coating. Oh, the coating is transparent. Oh my, that's the first one I've seen that has transparent coating. Okay, I'm going to get them both laid side by side out here on the uh, ground and we'll take another look. Laid out side by side, you can see the color difference. USGI poncho here on the left and the Helicon Tex on the right. And you can see, at least I can, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, the Helicon is very shiny. <laughs> it's not drab like the USGI one. But so far, I'm digging it. So let's get in close and let's uh let's look at the snaps and the grommets. Okay, GI grommet, Helicon Tex grommet. They look very similar. Looks pretty dang good. I like it. You know, snaps, Helicon Tex has got the GI style where it's got the male on one side, female on the other, and the spacing appears to be the same. Let me show you. As you can see, the spacing. So these two would mate up to each other. That's definitely a bonus. 
let's flip it over and let's look at the back side or the underside of the Helicon Tex. Okay, we see the underside of the Helicon Tex. It has the tabs and the drawstring for the waist. When we zoom in here to where the hood is stitched in, we can see that the hood is taped. So that's good. But I did notice where these tabs are. Let me zoom in. They are not taped. They're stitched right here, and I don't see any taping. Let me flip that over. There's the stitching. Let me get in close here. See this stitching right here that comes through? Because it's not taped on the back side, that likely will let water leak through. So that's something I'm going to have to fix. So once again, here where it's stitched, it is not taped. So that's kind of a negative. Looking over this entire poncho, this is the only tag I could find. And as you see, it says PO number 20031. And there's nothing on the back side. So, kind of interesting. There's no other uh, text or tags on this. A look at the hood. We do have a drawstring and a cinch, which is great. And I did notice here is the other text. It's on the inside of the hood. It says uh, Helicon Tex Poncho US Model P O M O U M U S P O one size 100% polyester. Then something here in I'm assuming Polish. Mm, producer importer EU Helicon Tex. Boy, more Polish designed in Poland, crafted in China. So I hope you can see that. Lighting is a little difficult. Um, I don't see any stray threads. Looks very professionally done. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, last but not least, we've got our water repellency test. Got our canteen of water here. And it just beads up and rolls off. That's great. Very nice. Very nice. So, let me get this wiped down, packed away, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Final thoughts. What do I think? I think the Helicon is a 4 out of a 5. I think the USGI is still superior, but that margin of superiority is getting narrower. This Helicon Tex, uh, US surplus line, what they call it, poncho, for the money, excellent, very good. Um, I would say if you can't find this, buy this or the Miltech. Either one's acceptable, but I like this one better than the Miltech simply because it's got that transparent coating. And um, the reason I like that is because the Miltech with that solid drab coating, when you set up a shelter, I like to stealth camp a lot. I don't like anybody bothering me when I'm out. And that drab color, that's a solid color. And if anybody happens to walk by to where they can see into my lean-to or my plow point, that solid color kind of sticks out in the woods. So, for me, this transparent coating that they're using on the Helicon Tex, big thumbs up. I don't like the shiny material, but it is what it is. It doesn't seem like anybody makes a poncho that isn't made of that shiny material. And I got a little bit of wind going on here, so I'm going to apologize for the wind noise. But uh, that's pretty much it. Four out of five stars. Big thumbs up. Helicon Tex.